Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to go over a question that I get from a lot of sellers, and that is, inevitably, what is the commission going to be when selling my house? And for me, the answer is typically 6%. Uh, I have sold below the 6% commission. I've sold above the 6% commission before. Partially, it depends on the price point of the house, uh, how easy it's going to sell, and uh, basically what the, you know, quote unquote going rate is in the market. So for example, uh, as far as a high priced home, say it's a $600,000 home or greater, oftentimes I'll actually reduce that commission a little bit just because um, we're still doing a similar amount of work. Yes, you are doing a little more work with a more expensive listing, but it doesn't necessarily equate to uh, paying the same percentage amount. And I, I don't necessarily think that that's fair to all sellers. So I am willing to discount that a little bit there. And then by the same token, when you're looking at say a $70,000 house, um, typically I'll actually do a flat fee for that because that percentage usually requires a lot more uh, work than what I'm typically getting paid out, especially when you take into account the marketing and advertising dollars. You know, I, I do pay for professional photography, I pay for advertising, and by the time I do all that kind of stuff, and if I'm only getting less than 3% by the time I get my cut and whatnot, then I'm actually potentially losing money uh, by listing a sixty dollars or $70,000 house. So um, the lowest price uh, property that I've actually sold was a piece of land and we sold it for $13,000. So obviously for something like that, I can't do 3% just because it costs me more money uh, between driving out there, taking pictures, advertising it, doing all that kind of stuff. So that's why I say in general, just ballpark about 6%. And for those of you who are wondering uh, if I get all 6%, the answer to that is no. So essentially how it's set up right now, unfortunately the seller bears the brunt of paying both the seller uh, brokerage and the buyer's brokerage. So it's essentially split 50-50. Most of the time it's a little more heavily weighted toward the seller side just because the listing agent does have to pay for advertising and marketing. But um, but yeah, it's, it's essentially 50-50. So we'll just say 3% goes to the list side or the, the selling uh, seller's broker and then 3% to the buyer's broker. And then out of that, the broker takes their cut and then they distribute uh, whatever percentage split uh, the agent has an agreement with them for, and the agent gets that portion. And then of course the, the government gets their cut as well with taxes. So once again, when people see the 6% commission, don't think that I'm getting all of that. It's just, unfortunately, that's the way that, uh, that it is by today's standards, and eventually that may change, but until it does, uh, that's my short answer for what my commission, uh, the commission I charge usually is. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.